spring thrift haul with maybe a try on haul if I have time. So let's just get right into it. This past weekend there was a big Easter sale at Goodwill so I picked up quite a lot of items and I also got some stuff from my favorite Instagram shop which I will link in the description box below. So to start off let's talk bags. I own about three bags and I use them quite frequently so I didn't feel bad picking up another two. The first one is this basic bag from Pixie Mood, which was originally $10, but thanks to the sale, I got it for five. Um, it's just a cute, like, faux leather bag with a pretty big main pocket, and I thought it was a steal of a deal. Next up, we have this more unique bag, which I thought was also a great find. Um, according to the label inside, it is genuine leather from Mumbai, which is really cool. Um, and I love, 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 love the pattern, and if I don't end up using it, I will definitely give it to someone in my, else in my family, because they sure as heck will. Next, fun tees. So I picked up a lot of coats and honestly more winter items, but I did get a fun tee for spring. Um, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my childhood was spent watching The Simpsons, so I got this fun Duff Beer shirt that says binge responsibly. Um, I'm not really sure where I'll wear it. Maybe whenever the world opens up back up again, I'll head to like a beer garden or something. I just thought it was a cute t-shirt and it was $2.50. Okay, and then for to start off the long sleeve section. Ooh, this is inside out. So I got this long sleeve from LL Bean, which is a pretty quality brand that you see a lot of in most thrift stores. And I just adored this like paisley print and it has like little roses inside of it. Um, and I got it for $4 and it's like a pretty quality, like will actually keep me warm mock neck, turtleneck, mock neck, cause it doesn't fold over. Um, and I've already worn it like three times and I got it this past weekend. Okay, now for jeans. I recently, thrift tip I suppose, I recently have been thrifting a lot of men's jeans. I So since thrift stores like right now, at least where I live, have not been allowing returns due to Corona, um, I was really nervous about buying men's jeans, but it turns out men's jeans are really easy to buy. Um, everything has like standard sizing. Like for, I know for me in like women's jeans, I can be a six or I can be like a 10 or anywhere in between. But men's jeans, everything is just like your waist measurement by like your length measurement. I think it's like width length, right? Um, so as long as you just like measure yourself, you will be able to buy any brand in the men's jeans just based off of those two numbers, which is like so useful and women's jeans should definitely adopt that. Um, so I took my measurements and it turns out I'm a 32 by 30. So I was able to pick up two pairs of Levi's just by knowing that I would be a 32 by 30. I got this dark wash pair, which I don't have any dark wash jeans, so this was a great find. And then I got this sort of like marbled black. Um, I don't know if that's, I don't know if marbled is the right word, but they're sort of like, it's not plain black because there's like this sort of like grayish, I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but there's like these sort of grayish bits, which I thought made it more interesting than just a plain back. Um, so this was another great find. I think they're both... This black pair is Levi's 5.11s, and I think this blue pair is Levi's 5.10s. Um, so, and these were both each $7, which I thought was a great deal since neither of them have much wear at all, and they fit perfectly. Okay, now if you can see up there, I've got a big rack of stuff. So to start off, ooh, I can do a try on pretty easily. So I'll do it with this. So this is the first item that I got from that Instagram shop. It's Buy Your Vintage. I will link the Instagram handle below. Um, I got this for, I believe, I wanna say 20 bucks. Um, and it's this LL Bean coat. It has this plaid lining and I really, really like the pattern. I wanna find a pair of pants with this pattern. Um, and then it has this like corduroy contrast collar, which I also really liked. And then my last detail that I liked was like this like sort of tortoiseshell-y button. And this is from, sorry, not LLB, from Land's End. It is a 10-12, 100% cotton. So this is definitely not how I would style this coat, but just in terms of length and fit 
it's pretty great um the cuffs also have some corduroy in there if i wanted to roll them back if you want to see how i would style this check out my instagram i have worn this on there and i've honestly gotten quite a bit of wear out of this um she does drops like three times a week so definitely check out her store if you're interested okay next up another piece from land's end this one i actually got from goodwill not from instagram shop and this is a corduroy jacket in this like tan color and i like honestly adore having the sleeves like this like a split sleeve i thought it was a bit weird at first but since this is a bit more of a fitted jacket i actually don't mind again if you want to see how i would style this check out my instagram it'll be linked in the description box but i actually kind of really like this like fitted look i wasn't sure about it at first because i normally like my jackets oversized but kind of into it okay next up we have ooh another thing from that instagram shop i mentioned okay let me this up real quick from boca classics which is not a brand i'd heard of before um, but there again, there's a couple details on this that made me get a sweatshirt, even though I already have quite a few. So the first detail that I really liked was that there's cinching all throughout the sleeves and the bottom. There's actually a drawstring to make it tighter, which is great because this is a men's large. And then I also really liked the contrast collar. I'm a sucker for that detail. Um, so yeah, and it's like like lined, so it almost looks like corduroy, which I also really liked. But I just liked the details of this sweatshirt, and I thought it was this like nice green blue color. Okay, next up, we have one of my favorite finds from Goodwill. Next up, we have one of my favorite finds from Goodwill. So this, honestly, more winter appropriate, but if it's still cold where you are at men's sweater that was oh i've been forgetting to do prices i will put prices up on the screen um but it's this chunky knit sort of plaid more like checkered pattern um that is 100 percent cotton it's from this brand i've never heard of before but i really like the fit i've been looking for like a chunky knit sweater I love like the ribbing of the collar as well. I think it's a fun detail that just like elevates it. And I really like the color combo of like this dark maroon and this like almost like teal blue. Okay, next up we have our last three items, which are all button down shirts, which I'm have actually been really into recently. So to start off, we have this silk shirt from Ann Taylor um so tip if you want like quality button downs for like work or your internship or whatever I highly button down can be like 30 to 50 dollars if you buy it firsthand but if you go to Goodwill you can get them from like five to ten dollars like I got this silk button down for 450 um from Ann Taylor which I thought was a steal I also really like like cuffs on button down. I just think there's something about them that like just makes you look so classy. Um, ooh. It's a bit tight, so I can't actually button it down. But when I do wear it, I normally wear it with like something black under, so not this, but I, it just like feels really nice. And like, I actually really like the polka dot. I don't have anything polka dot in my closet. So I thought that was fun. Okay, so my next item is from Alfred Dunner, which is, I believe, a technically designer. I don't know, like, what the quality of a brand has to be to make it from just, like, a brand versus designer. Like, nobody calls J. Crew designer, but, like, this is totally something J. Crew would, like, sell, you know? Um, I'm wondering if there's, like, some actual... I said this is from Alfred Dunner. It's actually a 16 petite, which, like, I'm normally a 6 to a 10 also in tops. So I guess a 16 petite is like a 10. Um, and normally I try to avoid buying polyester from thrift stores, but I just really liked the pattern and it felt like quality polyester, not that like Forever 21 polyester that you just know is gonna 
pill and rip and just like look cheap and not feel good on your body as a fabric. Um, so I was willing to buy polyester, but I typically try to avoid it. I also really, really liked the cuff buttons. If you can see, it like is also in that pattern, which like instead of just like a plain button, like here there's like plain black buttons, but I really liked like the covered button with the fabric. I just think that's like a neat detail. They also have one at the top here. Um, but this plaid is just so fun, so groovy. I feel like fun prints for both tops and bottoms have been really in. And I wear this all the time as an overshirt. Um, and I believe I got it for seven bucks. Pretty good for a designer item, I think. Okay, and then our last two items. I was really, really excited to find this. It's from The Works, Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, I've only ever heard of like a Fifth Avenue as like designer, Saks is like a designer. I don't really know what that means. I don't know it's in like New York and expensive. Um, but this is 100% silk, so, so cool. And you're supposed to dry clean it, but honestly, like, I haven't yet. <laughs> I don't know if I will. It sounds like kind of a lot of work. Um, but I also really like this pattern. It's this sort of, like, checkered, but also pinstripe. And then there's, like, this solid black-brown, but there's also, like, this sort of, like, fence cross hatch going through it which i think is just so fun i also just like wear this as an overshirt but if i wanted to it's big enough for me to truly button down and tuck into jeans um i have never worked somewhere where i would actually need to wear a button down but if i did i would wear this to work and i would look cool as heck okay and our last item so if you thrift a lot you have most definitely heard of the brand talbots I like a lot of their stuff in like a sort of vintage, not even vintage, in like a sort of like mom chic, like mom in like the late 80s, early 90s chic. Just like quality soccer mom clothes that like age really well. Um, but this, this is not one of those items from Talbots. Um, this is actually a more fun, cool item. I was really attracted to the sort of like blazer cut of this. It's not a normal button down. It has that like typical like blazer-esque look. I liked the pattern. I liked the gold, black, and red. That's such a sick color combo. And I also thought it was so cool that this is 100% silk. It does not feel like silk. It does not look like silk. It's way more breathable and like less soft than silk. But honestly, I did not mind at all. I wear this, like if I was to style this, I would wear like a black cami and like black jeans and like let this blazer stand out because it's such a statement and something I also really liked about this is that the buttons are like that double breasted button so like you would cross it to button it it's a bit too small for me to do that but I also just really like it as a blazer I think it looks really really cool okay that was my last item the rack is now empty but thank you so much for tuning in to my first thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I was thinking about bringing you guys along with me to Goodwill, but I wasn't sure if like that was allowed and didn't want to get kicked out or like talked with any of the employees. Like it would just be so awkward. I'm too shy to vlog in public. But if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And if you guys have any thrifting tips, I would love to hear them. Make sure to like, comment,